Okay, fifth graders, this is... What are we doing here? How is this 6-4? Oh gosh, so let me put that down here. 6-4. That's what we're doing right now. And so um, we've been dealing with division, and we've been dealing with um, single-digit division, and now we're doing some double-digit division. And the good news is it's no different. So um, they've got a garden here. It's 800 and I'm sorry, 84.8 square feet. And she knows uh, the length is 16 feet. So she wants to know the width. Well, uh, what would you do? You would simply write um, 84.8 uh, divided by what? 16. The 16 is the length but you want to know the width. And once you solved it, um, then you would have the width because the answer would be the width. And they walk you through it here and they, they model it. Um, here's, the, here's the length, um, 84.48 uh, uh, is the area and the width is going to end up being 5.3 three and they do it there for you so let's just uh, let's just drop down and uh, see what else is going on here um, so the convince me uh, how could Amy use estimation to make sure the decimal point is in the correct place in the quotient and the answer estimation well so we're talking about 16 um, 16 times, uh, what was the answer? Um, let me go back to this. The answer was 5.3. Okay, so 16 times 5.3. 5.3. So how about if we're estimating, let's just call it six, 15 um, times 5. Okay, so 15 times 5. Well, I know 15 times 2 is 30, because 15 plus 15 is 30. So 15 times 4 would be 60, so the answer would be 75. 15 times 5 is 75. So is that, is 75 close to 84.8? Uh, yeah, I would say so. I would say so. Um, <clears throat> so, and it should be less because uh, in my estimation I made, made it 15 which is less than 16, and then 5 instead of 5.3. So, yeah. So, estimation. That's how I would do it. Um, or you could also, instead of even just estimating, you could just simply multiply uh, 16 times, and I pointed this out earlier, 5.3. And if you did that, then you would get the area, which is 84.8. 84.8. Okay. All right, let's go to the next page, the guided practice. And again, you know, these are, you're doing everything the same. There's nothing different, nothing um, different uh, as far as the steps. Number one, what's it say? Uh, where is 5.3 shown in the diagram? Where is 5.3 shown in the diagram? Up above? Um, well, it's at the top. At the top. Um what a crazy question. Uh, what are they asking for? It's, uh, which is the width. Huh. All right, number two, how can you check that the quotient 5.3 is reasonable? Um, Okay, so uh, well, actually, I kind of answered that already. Uh, five, you could just do five times sixteen, and that equals eighty, which is again really close to the to the area. So, um, which is close to the area? Okay. All right, three and four complete the division problem. Oh, well, um, I don't 
like it when they do these boxes. It's just not something I care for. Um, so I'm just going to scratch those out. And if you want to do them, you are welcome to. And if they help you, you know, then go ahead. And I'll go ahead and, I suppose, uh, when we grade it tomorrow or the next day, I can um, fill in the boxes for you if that if you think that would help. So I'd rather just kind of jump into some of these problems here. Um, so I'm not going to worry about these. If you want to do them, that's fine. They fill in some of it for you, and they model it for you here. But uh, I'd rather actually do some some problems. So let's look at um, let's look at one of these here. How about um, ooh 50? This will be an easy one. I'm looking at number 10 here. This is 50, okay, into uh, 247.5. Okay, remember, we've got to keep the decimals straight. All right, so does 50 go into 2? Nope. Does it go into 24? Nope. How many times does 50 go into 247? Well, you guys can all count by 5s. If you can count by 5s, you can count by 50s. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. Well, 250 is bigger than 247, so that won't work. So we're going to have to stop at 200. So four, four times four times fifty. Whoops, what did I do here? I touched something I shouldn't have. Now I got to check to see if it's still recording. Still recording here. Yes, still recording. Good. Um, anyway, so four times fifty is two hundred. Okay, I'm going to put a four right there above the seven because that's what we were dividing into two hundred and forty-seven. So what's that leave? Uh, what's that uh, leave? Leave over forty-seven left over. All right, and the decimal goes straight up. It's right there. All right. What do we do next? Bring down the five. How many times does uh, fifty go into um, four hundred and seventy-five? Um. Well, it'll be 450, right? Think about it. Use compatible numbers now. What times 5 is 45? That would be 9. So 4.9 so far. What's left over? Um, 25 is left over. Okay. Now, now what do you do? Um, actually, you could, um, let's see, what did I say? So that was 9. So is there a, did I write this down correctly? 247.5. So you could um, add a 0. Since, since we're all done with numbers, there isn't any numbers left. You can, there's a 0 there, and we could just pull down a 0. Okay, and in some of these problems, you can do that. Um, and this is this is how you would not have any remainders. You would just start pulling down zeros until you till you find that it fits in perfectly. Does fifty go into two hundred and fifty? It does perfectly five times. Two hundred and fifty. Subtracting, there's nothing left over. So. Um, you can keep pulling down zeros and some of these problems you'll be doing that until it goes in evenly evenly like it just did did here and um, and then you would not have any remainders so 50 goes into 247.5 um, 4.95 times so 4.95 times okay Let's look at the next page, since my software was eager to go there anyways. Let's get this right here where I want it. Okay, so let's see here. Um, Sharon pays uh, 98.75 for 25 14 ounce, ounce boxes of Yummy Flakes cereal. How much does one box of cereal cost? Okay, 
So um, for 25 14 ounce boxes, how much is one? So there's some information here you don't need. What is it that you don't need? Look at it for a moment. Pause the video. Look at it. What don't you need to know? Well, the fact that each box is 14 ounces, that doesn't matter. That's irrelevant. So what are we doing here? You're dividing uh, 98.75, okay? You're dividing it by what? By 25, okay? Number 12, Javier bought a new TV for $479.76. He will make two equal payments each month for two years. I'm sorry, he will make equal payments each month for two years. How many months are in a year? There's 12. So two years is 24. How can Javier use compatible numbers to estimate each payment? Okay, so first off, 12 months in a year, they're talking two years, so we're talking 24 months. And then the price is 479, let's just call it $479, okay. Compatible numbers, well the 24 could be 25 months. 479, why don't we just make it, I don't know, 500. All right, so how many times does 25 go into 500? Well, how many times does 25 go into 100? It goes in four times. What's four times five? So um, four times five is 20. So about, that little squiggly line means about, um, I'm gonna put dollars, 20 a month. Okay, hopefully you guys saw how I did that. We're able to follow along. Number 13, uh, the area of the rectangular flower bed is shown as 20.4 meters. Uh, it's funny, it doesn't show it, but so, okay, so this whole area here is 20.4 meters. How many meters of edging are needed to go around the flower bed? Explain. Um... So here's what you need to figure out. First off, they give us this length right here. What is that length? It's 12 meters. So this length here, we don't know it. How would we find out that length? Um, you would do 20.4 divided by what? The one that we know, 12. Okay, so 12 and the 20.4. Now, um, once you have that answer, what you will have is this, that side right there, okay? Um, but what are they asking for? They're asking for how many meters of edging are needed. No, in other words, they're talking about the perimeter. They're talking about the perimeter. They're talking about this side and this side and this side and this side, the perimeter. So you're going to have to actually, um, what did I erase there? Oh yeah, 12. You, you would then add up the sides. Because if this side, up, up at top, if that's 12 meters, then you know um, this one's 12 meters. But then you're going to have to do this side, and then, of course, this one over here. So you would add up all four sides. And that'll tell you how many, um, how many meters of edging will be needed. Okay, so I'm not going to do that one any further for you. I'll let you figure that out. Okay, um, 14. Miss Wang is shopping for a new refrigerator. Brand A costs this much and uses 635 kilowatt hours per year. Brand B costs this much and uses a little bit more, 582 kilowatt hours. No, a little bit less, 582 kilowatt hours. Um, so the kilowatt hours, I'm going to underline those in in red all right and then it says if electricity costs 18 cents per kilowatt hour how much 
would she save on the electricity per year by buying brand B? Okay, so there's two, two things you're going to have to do. You're going to have to... Um, The, the prices of the refrigerators are irrelevant. You don't need that information. So don't even worry about that. Okay. Again, they're giving us information you don't need. But the kilowatt hours you do need. And so um, you're going to be multiplying 18. All right. Into 635. And then 18. Not into. I'm sorry. And then 18 times 582. And then you're going to see how much cheaper it is um, by subtracting one from the other. And uh, I think I might just give somebody something out of the jar if somebody in class gets this. So I'll just leave it at that. And uh, hopefully this video is not getting too long. I, I think it's been going on for a while. So i got to end this pretty quick here. Um, Pat is driving home, driving from Seattle, LA, distance is 1,135 miles. For the first 250 miles, it costs 0.29 a mile. After that, our driving costs 0.16 a mile. What is Pat's total driving cost? Okay. Oh, man. Uh, I want you guys to do these on your own. How would you do this one? What would you do? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to touch 15. I want you guys to figure that out. All right? Okay, that's it. Done with this video.